Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Gary Hall from Exodus and formerly from Slayer, and you're listening to The Razor's Edge. You're listening to The Razor's Edge, and my name's Matt, and I am speaking to... Oh, wait, by design? All right, how you doing? I'm all right, how are you doing? Yeah, pretty good. Tired? Yes. <laughs> oh, hot, burn. <laughs> it's been fucking amazing so far. Yeah, you just folks a pretty full tent considering it was yeah. about half eleven in the morning. Yeah, yeah it's really early. It was good. It is. I should, I, it was a bit, it was, it was a surprise but not, because I knew that uh, Race by Owls were on, they were finishing just as we were starting. Yeah, like, yeah. It's probably going to be a bit quiet for the first song and a half, yeah, sure. And then it'll pick up again, and it did, exactly what happened. It was amazing. It was really good. Um, great crowd. Um, it's a pleasure to play the, stage, the Sophie stage, actually. Real pleasure. Are you booked some regulars? Uh, I haven't been in nine years. I actually played here. Last time I was here, I played here. Uh, on the Sophie stage of another band that I, I was on. Um, I haven't been since, but... You have never been, have you? I have never been to Blunt. I, I'm a, I'm a full-on metalhead. And I, I'm on it. I've never been... Somehow, I've never been to Bloodstock. And this is my first year. And I played the Sophie stage. It's what way to go, yeah. It's what way to introduce yourself to Yeah, it was, uh, it was insane. But, like... We, we had a really, really, really cool crowd. Um, like the set, I think any band that comes off stage always thinks their set could have gone better. Yeah. Because you could, everyone's perfectionist or whatever. But yeah. we had technical problems and things like that. But I think we got to be really happy with how it went and how the crowd reacted to it. It was, it, like, it was from on stage. It seemed like everyone enjoyed it. So. As a first timer, what's your impression of the festival like? Apart from playing, you know, have you enjoyed it? I'm really impressed with it. Like, um, everyone's so polite and like friendly. Like, it just really surprised me. I thought everyone would be kind of like rushing you through and like being really not rude, but like it's they, they see so many people every day. You would have thought their patience would wear out, but like the security and the staff all been incredible so, so i want to just give a shout out to the sophie crew as well yeah amazing. yeah the sophie crew have been amazing brilliant yeah. well in the uh, news for you guys uh the only ones came out last week yep uh, which was played today um how's the last week been with the single release it's going really really well yeah, yeah it's really, i think actually surprised yeah we've, we? got, we've had like ten thousand streams on spotify since release yeah like 5,000 hits on the YouTube video and yeah. stuff like loads of people loads of comments and people saying how much they're enjoying the song so it's been it's been a lot better than expected like we we, we always keep our expectations fairly lo- like modest modest <laughs> um, but yeah it's, we've had some some really cool feedback so yeah it's good to know is it going to be just a one-off single or is there more to come there's stuff in in the pipeline yeah. I won't say anything because it, obviously it's dependent on what, what happens but yeah. I think um, our focus is probably going to be more on more singles with music videos than working on an album at the moment right, yeah. um, just because of the way the yeah, obviously streaming how streaming works and playlists and everything it's like we um, the, our last album we, re- we released during the pandemic and, um, and it did amazingly well despite the circumstances but we couldn't tour it yeah. and I think that's a lot of effort and money and time yeah. To try and sing it to like just yeah, yeah. I mean I listen to albums now, but I'm yeah, yeah. you know in my late thirties. I'm not sure I'm the main demographic nowadays. Um, I think a lot of people are listening to like singles in playlists. So I think that's kind of probably a bit more of the direction we're going to go in. Yeah. Um, we've got some again potential. I think it's, it's trying probably to more, it's gigs. probably more achievable for bands as well rather than recording full albums is to is to do singles and music videos and things. And it, well, money's a bit more controllable. It also yeah. gives us a bit more control of the promotion, and it's not putting all our eggs into one basket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, there are plans, but they are they're not like definitive plans. Again, at the moment, to be honest with you, I think we're more uh, probably trying to get gigs and trying to ramp up the live shows a bit. We want to try and promote the only ones a bit. You know, you know, yeah, we've got, some, out we got some. Um, we've got some pretty big gigs like um, in the pipeline. Yeah. Uh, that we can't really, can't talk, about. About we right can't really talk about yet but like 
they will be uh, they will be announced like fairly soon. But we got we're we're obviously hoping to to get in the studio pretty soon and kind of get get some more stuff done and uh, and obviously the, the focus is just gigs at the moment really. Um, but we 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 do want to get new music out as soon as possible. Is there a strong kind of melodic metal and power metal um, community in your part of the UK? <laughs> no, no. Where I live no, is in the middle not, of nowhere. That's not a bad I tell you, I tell you our, our bass player is from Wolverhampton. Yeah, we're all I say, around. I tell you, there's a really, really strong like power metal, melodic metal community in, Bur in Birmingham, Wolverhampton. Yeah, there's uh, yeah, yeah. Ma a ma like a massive community for that there. Yeah, when, but, when, I mean, um, I, I'm from like Somerset, and it's pretty it's much not, non-existent not down there. It's not the best because I'm also <laughs> from Somerset. It's not the best. Bristol's got a good, yeah. a good scene. Yeah. Yeah. Bristol's got a really good scene. To yeah. be fair, Exeter and Plymouth aren't too bad. Like Plymouth is more like black metal bands and okay. doom and doom bands. Yeah. But like Taunton and Bridgewater and that is, is not not so much like melodic metal. Really. No, of course. So. I mean, it's, it tends to be the bigger cities, isn't it? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Bristol a bit again. Bristol, you'll find a crowd for probably any kind of music there. Oh, definitely. Bristol's a good life. Like, Bristol's got music still going, thankfully. It's almost yeah. like a smaller London, isn't it? It is now. Bristol's kept the southwest going, really, through, so. the, through, through the pandemic and, yeah. and afterwards. But even then, though, a lot of venues have closed down. Yeah. So yeah. many venues are closed. Even in Bristol, where there's still a really good live music. Shout out to the beer keller. Um, they yeah, right, yeah. closed yeah. down quite a few years, years ago, ago yeah. and it was a, a fantastic venue. Well, it's uh, day three, four, five. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> it's the final day. Yeah. Yeah. Who else have you caught over the weekend? Well, I've only got it today, so I've not I've only seen like I've seen so what are they so I've not I've never, oh, never seen yeah, yeah, I've never seen them before. Yeah, yeah. Never really heard of them because they're fucking amazing though. Like, Vocals yeah, had a hell of a voice, didn't it? Bloody amazing. Yeah. And then I've I've seen Beast in Black. Um and then I don't know, I'm just I just wander I like to wander around and just see what I fall into. So I'm not like because I've seen a lot of the bands before. Yeah. So it's kinda of like, well I, I don't mind who I end up watching, but I'll just wander. I'll stop. I, my monomath probably is on the on the table to like make sure I go and see. But I think I've wandered between Sophie Stage, New Blood Stage and the main stage so far. I've just got, got a few things going on. Um, I think my highlights were probably Enslaved. Yeah. They were incredible on, on uh, Friday. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Opeth obviously amazing. Like the sound quality for Opeth was just out of this world. It's probably the probably the best one of the best gigs I've ever seen to be fair. Um, and then like a strange shout out, but like Igor on the Sophie stage on uh, I think it was. Friday night, wasn't it? Friday night. Wow. Like, it, it was like break beats, drum and bass mixed with like blast beats, Dimmu Borgia, yeah. like metal. <laughs> like, it's a, French, it's a French guy who's done it all. Absolutely, like, incredible band. Like, amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm all about the carcass today, so. Thank you both for your time very much. This has been Awake by Design at Bloodstock. <laughs>